الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Fasting أيها الأحبة Fasting ذو الحجة The nine days of Dhul Hijjah, in the, the beginning first nine days of Dhul Hijjah, the ninth day being Yom Arafah, are important days for us to gain the blessings and forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Dhul Hijjah, the Ashir of Dhul Hijjah, has many, many benefits for the believer. And so we should race during this time to gain the benefits. Let's hear what the ulama say with regards to this very important time period. Yustahab som ayam thamani al awwal min shar al hijjah. It's uh, recommended to fast the first eight days of Dhul Hijjah, of the month of Dhul Hijjah. وَهَذَا بِإِتْتِفَاقِ الْمَذَاهِبِ الْفِقْهِيَّةِ الْحَنَفِيَّةِ وَمَلَكِيَّةِ وَشَافِعِيَّةِ وَهَنَابِلَةِ وَالظَّاهِرِيَّةِ So the four Imams, according to the madahib of the four Imams, this is agreed upon. As well as the Zahiriya, as well as according to the madhab of the Zahiriya, those people like uh, Imam Ibn Hazm wa Im, uh, Abu uh, Imam the head of the Zahiriya school of thought who looked at the text of the uh, the Nasus, the Quran and the Sunnah from its apparent meaning only from its apparent meaning without looking into necessarily the hikmah or the reasons or the uh, the various wisdom behind the revelations. And so in accordance, uh, the consensus of the fuqaha is that this time of Dhul Hijjah, those first eight days, are blessed days to do righteous deeds. And from those righteous deeds to fast during that time. And this is even in accordance with the madhab of the Malikiyya and the Shafi'iyya, even for the person making Hajj, those first eight days of Dhul Hijjah. And the evidence for this is the hadith of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, ma amalin, ma amalu, fi, fi ayam al ashr, afdal min amala fi hadhi, qalu wala jihad, قال ولا جهاد إلا رجل خرج يخطر بنفسه وماله فلم يرجع بشيء. This hadith in the hadith of Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنهما that was narrated in Sahih al Bukhari. رحمه الله تعالى الإمام Bukhari that the Messenger of Allah, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said. That there are no deeds, there are no days which are better to do righteous deeds than those days, the days, the, the ten uh, Ashara Dhul Hijjah. And the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, ajma'een, they said, not even jihad. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded by saying, not even jihad, except for the man who leaves with his wealth in danger and his, his body, his physical being, and he doesn't, and he re returns with neither of those, meaning he was died vis a vis a Showing us that this is an immense time for gaining reward, Dhul Hijjah. And also illustrating for us the importance of the first 10 days, with the 10th being Eid, and the 9th being Yom Arafat, the time especially you should strive to fast and gain benefit. 
and from those great deeds that you can do is fasting. Fasting is included in general in those great deeds. So doing righteous deeds, serving your parents, spending in the cause of Allah and charity, uh, smiling, treating people with kindness, all of those actions that relate to treating one another with respect and kindness and love, that those all fall under the good deeds as well as fasting. So I encourage myself and encourage my brothers and sisters in Islam to try to, to race to do righteous deeds during this time, reading the Quran, fasting, doing those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings.